yeah, I was Promise Neverland chapter 180, your everything or whatever. That's what mm -hmm. you said. Your everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, we found out that Emma did actually have to sacrifice something. I still think it was a goofy sacrifice, True. but whatever. She <laughs> she had to sacrifice her memory of her family uh, in order to free them, but she also still got free too. Uh, basically, the demon Jesus was like, he still got something off them, but like, I think he was still being nice in terms of like his True. his whatever he gave them. But uh, we see Emma lost her memory, and I guess a few months go by. Um, and she still lost her memory, but it's like the memory's still coming back, which is also why I think this is goofy. Exactly. Um, and the other niggas are looking for her, and it looks like they've kind of located where she could be. Um, the other part of the chapter that looks like they want to pull us in more is that something happened to the world that she's in. Like, there was some war or something that's going on, so it, this war, this world may not be as close to ours, meaning modern day like whatever as we think there's clearly something that happened the author may try to explore that more through these characters i don't care don't give a fuck but that was like what what the chapter was so i thought i guess i had to bring it up so i'm pretty much like well pretty much ditto to pretty much what you just said long story short um <sighs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, so I, I don't even know how, how to put my thoughts properly to like this chapter. It was pretty much okay. You know what? The best way to word it is that something like this is like pretty much what I pictured how they were going to continue the series. Um, something still like BS um happens to emma and like just emma where everyone you know pretty much has to save her quote unquote in a way um and that's really it like they, that's i mean that's like the only thing that they're really showing as interesting like in my opinion and that's a very like loose and very generous word i think when i say interesting um you losing memories as far as like a real sense I, I actually like respect that kind of gravity because i mean if you just wake up and you literally have zero memory of like anything that's scary i mean like i'll, I'll give you the big ups for that but the thing is that they they, they 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 overplayed it and underplayed it so heavy at the same time that you're just like you literally again just don't care slash don't really have interest i mean the grand scheme of things you kind of save humanity from demons by giving up your memory which in my opinion just doesn't it still just doesn't balance out slash really get you you know be like oh wow yo lost your whole memory oh my gosh i mean oh is this like an anime and manga where this happens all the time oh not really right <laughs> i mean like, so it's like okay <laughs> Um, and, and then again, it's just like, a, uh, just about to go, um, towards this whole, you know, the backdrop of the war, maybe the war is still happening on the low key. So they're, they're, they're again, kind of like exploring an avenue that just isn't promised Neverland-esque, where the series would still hold people, at least in my opinion. Because I'm, I mean, I'm literally at the point where I'm actually okay to not, like, to kind of end it right here. Like, I'd be completely comfortable not continuing reading this series anymore. I'm kind of done. Well, yeah. Shit, I was already there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this going to be so, the day we drop it? Is that I it? Mean, that seems reasonable. Um, I mean, I, I'm going to keep reading in the background, but as far as chapter reviews go, like, yeah, I'm fine with dropping it. I just felt like, for me, I just have to get to the end so nobody can say I... I didn't when I objectively say that it's trash. Like, that's that's just personally me. But that's only for... There's, like, a chapter limit on there. If they're trying to, like, really keep this going to, like, two, three hundred ch ch pages or chapters, like, no, nah, I'm going to go back to catching up on Attack on Titan. I'm not going to waste my time. True. Um, it seems like this is um, them trying to drag out the end of the story. If this yep. is the end of the story, it seems like they're just trying to uh, put in a bit more of the touchy feely part of it okay she lost of her, she lost all of her memory she's gonna um all of her siblings are gonna find her and they're gonna spend however many weeks months years to try to 
um, help her, you know, recall who they are and why they're all meaningful to each other. And then they're all live ha happily ever after when she suddenly um, sees why family is so important and all of that bullshit. And that's that. And uh, I'm, I'm struggling to see which one had the worst ending, this or uh, Demon Slayer. Um, depending, it all, Ooh, depending I would say on my this opinion. one because Ooh, so much more investment in this one than I felt like Demon Slayer. But, I mean, yeah, it's, it's totally your opinion. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it all depends on how, um, whether this one tries to drag it out for a long time, because that was definitely the thing that uh, turned me off with the end of the Demon Slayer, them trying to drag on useless shit as long as possible. If they try to do the same thing with this, this would definitely easily have a, a worse ending. Mm. Because it also has other parts that were uh, that are annoying about this story that we've already announced twenty times. Yep. But but uh, that's just what I'm expecting that they're about to do with this. Yep. Sounds right. Trash and trash. <laughs> Good bleach. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't really have anything else to add. I mean, if y'all ready to just get into raiding this bullshit, we we can. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, it's getting like, oh, man, they tried to save it, so it's like I almost want to give it a trash, but like I just gotta be honest with my feelings, man. Like it, it's a bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It's just not really doing it. Like they don't want to. The like author doesn't want to let it die. One, but I'm just like, I I appreciate the okay. Well, the demon still acts for something, and Emma sort of finessed it, but I still feel like he's just still like doing the same bullshit he did before. So. I don't I don't know. I just it just wasn't good to me. I didn't enjoy it. Like I said, we just reading these chapters, get over with. I guess we've made it official, but like this will be the last one we fucking review. Like RIP Promise Neverland. I'm done. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no. Back to one punch man. <laughs> oh, I mean it was I mean you 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 again just said it all. I barely felt the need. Um okay, so oh, this chapter is bleach. Um trash and trash and trash. And uh, pretty much, I mean, there's no, to, to kind of summarize my feelings for the series, it was a steadily, it was like a steady downward spiral. Um, and there's just no life anymore that I really gain from reading these chapters. Um, disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. Um, like I see missed opportunities, um, missed like, chances to try and bring it back. Um, and it was just, it, it was just like a slow, like depressing cycle that I was seeing while uh, reading this series. So again, it had a beautiful start, was definitely excited for it. And all the energy that pretty much it gave from the beginning just started to dwindle ever so slightly. And, uh, yeah, sucks to suck, but such is life. <laughs>